there and welcome to our YouTube series on how to expand your vocabulary. I decided to start the YouTube series and the YouTube channel with vocabulary because when we focus our attention and energy to developing and increasing our vocabulary, that's when we see that there is so many other ways that we can use to expand the way that we want to communicate. As we know, most of the times when we are communicating, and that's our goal, to make sure that we are understandable and that our way of explaining is extremely concise and clear, vocabulary is extremely important. So when you expand your vocabulary, you're able to convey your message in a very clear way. So, our first video is about the word that we use so much, I think. Have you noticed how many times you use I think? It's, it comes so naturally and we just fail to have different ways to really nail what we really want to say. So let's go on this journey on how to expand your vocabulary. So let's start it off. Well, our journey on expanding your vocabulary starts in our brain. Why? Why does it start in our brain? Because my goal is to give you tools so that you can hack your brain. And you're going to see this icon in many different parts of our presentation in our class so that you learn different ways that you can improve your memory, especially your memory. Um, so how to hack your brain? These rules were taken and they are based on a book by John Medina called Brain Rules. The first rule is this one. Thinking or talking about an event immediately after it has occurred enhances memory for that event. What does it mean? It means that when we repeat what we have just learned, when we tell someone about something that has just happened, we improve our memory um, in incredible ways. So that's why teachers tend to tell you, no, um, you have to study. What, is, what does studying really mean? If you have spaced out repetition, which means that five minutes today, five minutes tomorrow, and you have constant repetition, you're going to be able to improve your memory by leaps and bounds, which means a lot. The second rule, the second way that you can hack your brain into learning a foreign language is creating a familiar setting or creating familiar settings, which means that your environment plays an important role in helping you memorizing, internalizing those pieces of vocabulary. Um, think like this, um, have a comfortable chair, a very organized desk so that it becomes familiar and so that when you retrieve that information and remember what you were taught, you can do that in a very effective way. Our third rule is um, concerning ways that your brain can remember facts and um, uh, piece of vocabulary in our case. Your brain can forget data, you know, which means information, but you're less likely to forget what triggered an emotional reaction, what made you feel that. So it's about emotion. And I really, really hope that in our journey towards helping you activate your English and expanding your vocabulary, I can bring out some very good emotions in this process. So revising, how can you use that in your learning process? Repetition. After the end of a video, 
the end of a class, but in this case, the end of our video. Go on and share what you've learned. Text a friend, write it down, make a sentence. As we are living in a digital era, you can go and leave a comment and make sure that you use what you were taught. Isn't that fascinating? The environment. Make sure that you create long-term memories by remembering the initial moment you learn something. So, my hope and my wish is that um, the moment you remember, oh, different ways to say I think, which is the topic of our lesson, you remember this moment here of us together talking about hacking your brain. The third one, for me, the most, emotion, the most important one is emotion. Um, I hope that I can share more than just knowledge with you. Um, I want you to feel that you're improving, you know, that you um, create a feeling, a very good feeling towards our process. So let's start the journey. The journey on expanding your vocabulary, we start with different ways to say I think. As we know, we have so many common words, words that we use on a daily basis, be it on your mother tongue or foreign language, and we just forget that we have more ways in which we can um, convey the, the, um, the, what we're feeling or convey the message in a more effective way. So today, um, I want to take you um, on a journey you know, imagine yourself on this road, we are together, and I'm going to take your communication skills to the next level. Visualizing? Are you ready? Okay. Um, sometimes, all that we need to do is look at things, you know, go with me, from a, diff from a completely different angle. That's what we're going to do now. Learning new words and expressions from a very different angle. Are you ready? Let's do it then. Starting now, in our series, in this journey, the words that you commonly use are going to be banned. Let's try to avoid them so that we can um, make sure that our brain expand, our memory expand, and we have so many different ways to uh, show what, how we're feeling. Okay? Uh, I start with, I think, I think is banned right now. Pull him, but he's banned. Different ways to say, I think. Let's start with... Um, I guess, I suppose, and I believe, okay? I believe that, and then you say your sentence. I believe that learning English on YouTube is extremely fascinating because you can, you can pause the video, you can go back and listen to it as many times as you want. I find it extremely um, uh, fascinating and, you know, um, I wish... I had that when I was a student myself. Um, if you are agreeing with someone, you can say, I believe so, I hope, I suppose so, I guess so. I hope so, you're more like hoping, okay? You're not saying what you think. Um, if you disagree, mm, I believe not, I suppose not, I guess not. Um, the way I see it, to my mind, this one is, uh, I really like using that. To the best of my knowledge, it's extremely formal. So if you are um, in, an, in a formal setting, make sure you use this one. And the one that I really like is, as far as I'm concerned. These are some questions, um, just, to, uh, f just as food for thought. Um, do you think that gratitude goes a long way. What does it mean? Do you think that when you are grateful um, for something or for someone, does it make a lasting... Um, is, does it create a lasting action? You know, so if you're grateful today, then it goes a long way. It can reach so many people. I think so. Well, to my mind, the way I see it, um, leave your comments on our YouTube video and I'll be more than glad to read them. Um, another question. Do you think that junk food should be avoided? I'm not telling my opinion. Um, we can talk about that on our comment section. Do you think that we can learn English with YouTube videos? 
Going back to as far as I'm concerned, we can also use that to talk about things in general, not just as far as I'm concerned, which means that to my mind, concerning what I think. You can say on a general um, spectrum. So if you're talking about the environment, you could think of global warming. You can say, as far as global warming is concerned, you know, when it comes to global warming, is another way, is a nice way of saying it. When it comes to global warming, as far as using English at work is concerned, as far as your site is concerned, I think you're doing an excellent job and you complement with your opinion. As far as blah 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 is concerned, means concerning. Concerning means about. Concerning global warming, concerning English at work, using English at work, concerning your site, use a comma after that. Deal? Well, as we talked about brain rules and how to hack your brain in the beginning of our session, um, repetition, environment, and emotion, um, they are the, tri the tripod for you to um, expand your vocabulary. Um, focusing on the first one, repetition, one of the things that I like doing is writing down what I've learned from a session, from a podcast, um, preparing for a class. So, preparing for this class, I took some notes on my notebook here. You know, it's a very colorful one. I love putting uh, stickers and markers there. Um, what you can do is this. Grab a pen and a notebook. It could be a digital notebook, like Evernote. You know, uh, search for Evernote. And paper notebook. I like writing on paper because when you actually write it down, you are, um, your action of writing down really enhances your memory. Okay. And for you to internalize the pieces of vocabulary that you have been presented in this video, we're going to take a quick review, okay? Um, and this way we're going to do what we talked about before, which is repetition, all right? So you can pause now the video and try for yourself before I present with the responses, all right? Well, the first one is that one that I said is extremely useful and um, will bring your communication skills to the next level is as far as I'm concerned. The second one is as far as learning is concerned. The third one is extremely formal, remember that? To the best of my knowledge. And this word, uh, careful with the pronunciation, okay, is knowledge. Know is the verb, knowledge is the noun. To my mind, if you agree with what the person is saying, I guess so. If you disagree, I guess not. And the way I see it. All right? Well, um, again, repetition is key for you to internalize the piece of vocabulary that you've been presented today. Uh, what I think you should do is at the end of the video, go on and share what you've learned. Maybe you can invite a friend to watch the video so that you can discuss later on. You can leave your comment um, to that question. Remember the responses to that questions that I presented to you. Um, and make sure you make sentences. So this is the end of our first class on how to expand your vocabulary. As I told you, our deal is, I think I agree and disagree, are going to be banned for a while so that we internalize the different ways to um, say those words. Okay? Thank you very much again for being around. And Thank you very much for watching our video and don't be a stranger. Leave a comment, tag a friend, share and subscribe to our channel.